what's going on everybody how's everybody doing this morning you finally got a little bit nicer of a day out here You're supposed to get up to 40 degrees today so I got some stuff done not a whole heck of a lot I still got all these TVs I gotta mess with but those are gonna have to wait so I got a decent bit of my stuff cleaned up all the furnaces are gone I got rid of all pretty much all my clean steel got all these motors all of those got to go back to the barn I'm going back to the barn right now but I'm not taking those because I got some other stuff I got to do so you got that's a nice big non-ferrous load going and a whole bunch of clean ACRs a couple super heavy sealed units I got some a little bit of shell brass one motor I'm not willing to mess with two ballasts a couple transformers ACR end bucket of breakage bucket of harness wire it's number two copper but I think this is going to get transferred a couple cans there's a little bit of yellow brass in a garbage can and some clean cast aluminum so there's a couple more things that I got to do before I leave those combos are getting cut I gotta get those done oh I gotta throw that a coil up there too that's gotta go I'm not I'm not messing with that uh, that aluminum a coil and price, price difference for me in the time to take that apart it's not worth it I only get I want to say I think three cents more four cents more a pound for a, if that coil was clean and then I have all the plastic waste and the steel it's just it's easier just to take it in as it is and be done with it so let the truck warm up for a second here do come on so, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I took in 220 pounds of regular sheet iron this morning for 20 bucks and 90 cents. And then I had 480 pounds of clean sheet iron, 280 a ton. Woo hoo, or $67.20. So that's the one I took in this morning that was not my furnace load. I believe this is the furnace load. It's $190 a ton for regular sheet iron. I had 1120 pounds, $106.40. So it wasn't too bad. Over the course of two days, get rid of uh, almost 200 bucks worth of steel. Just get rid of it so busy with the HVAC company lately and um, I got I have a, a rooftop unit that's got to be picked up on Friday I don't know how big it is I haven't seen it but I'll be taking a trailer and going to get a nice big unit So, you guys can see that <clears throat> welder generator still sitting there, waiting for a thousand subs to tear that sucker apart. Got a thousand subs, and we're gonna demo that baby. All right, back here to the barn. I gotta make sure I don't forget anything. This, uh, I still got to do a, a weigh and pay for everybody on that um, on my last non-ferrous one when I ran in that copper drum I'm pretty sure I forgot to do that so that's gotta that's gotta go get it get a nice video of that and then uh, Maybe what we'll do is do two way and pays on one video. 
Got a little bit of old, old house wire. This stuff I do not strip, ever. Between the dust that comes off of this and I've been told that this wire's got asbestos in it and I don't want any part of that. So it goes in as old house. Not a bad price. Majority of that's all insulation. Oh. Alrighty. Out to the good old barn. Okay. So let's see what we got going here. A bit of update I got. I got going pretty, pretty darn nice here. This garbage can I'm not putting any more in it because I'm afraid I'm gonna rip the handles right off of it. So, I got uh, some goodies on here. I've been stockpiling my electric motors. I hope y'all didn't forget about the sheet copper. Sheet copper's going to the scrapyard today. Holy smokes. Sheet copper's going in. Need extra money right now, so it's gotta go. One way or another, it's gotta go. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I had to get the sheet copper out. I gotta see, cause I know I gotta Number two copper in here, which might be this one. I gotta see here. The lids are a pain in the butt. It's my number two copper, yes it is. Okay, so we're gonna get, we're gonna get this consolidated a little bit. So, nice bit of ends off the ACRs. Got some tin coated wire. All copper too. Another nice piece of copper too. Actually, I think this ends brass. But you know what? Bottom of the bucket. Freeze me up another bucket in here. And bring this out this way some. This has actually got a fair little bit of weight in it. So there's that. Do a little bit of consolidating, like I said. Get this copper bucket off of here. And get this. This dumped in there. Oh, look at all them little ends. You need to go down in there further. All right, so that's that. I'm trying not to forget nothing. I'm not taking in none of the good copper. None of the good copper's going in yet. I'm not satisfied enough with how much I have done, so it's just not going in. So, we got a little bit of copper processing to do real quick. That only take a couple minutes. Get all this done. This is how I cut up all of my copper pipe. Cut all of it up this way. This stuff wouldn't get tangled up so dang bad. More yellow brass. That's what I like to see. Gotta make some money today. I make some money today. Now that cut off there, we're gonna cut this, cut this down a little bit smaller. That number one's gotta go in my other drum. I cut it up a little smaller just so I can get as much in there as absolute possible. Number two in there. Uh, 
I used to work at the scrapyard, used this exact same kind of cutters. That's what I used all the time to chop copper. All the time. It's not so bad when you do, just got a little bit to do, but when you got a lot to do, it kind of starts hurting your back. Okay, just leave that squirrely end together. Good enough. Mo brass. Mo brass, mo better. All this chopped and then get it cleaned up use one of them buckets I just emptied to throw the number one in and go dump that you take a quick look around make sure I didn't forget nothing and then get up there and get them the coils chopped real quick this one's clean just cut it down a little bit Mo brass